Hey, what's going on guys? So this video was actually suggested by a user in my Discord, and it's actually pretty easy. So since we already have a, um, a coin leader stat, uh, we're just going to go ahead, and this isn't going to be how to make a tool, uh, but you kind of could. And let's find a sword mesh. Let's just get any sword. I like this sword. This sword looks cool. Oh uh, no, that's sideways. We don't want that sword. Uh, what's this sword? That's a good enough sword. Okay. So let's just get a dummy. And the first thing we want to do is unanchor his humanoid root part. Just like to simulate a game or something, I guess. We're just going to change the humanoid to like an enemy. So we have our enemy, but we're going to use the enemy really quick to get the tool. So how big do we want this um, sword to be? We want it pretty decent. I mean, that's probably good. Um, I'm not gonna do anything to it. I might make it like smooth plastic, <laughs> but let's just make this a tool real quick. All right, so we got our sword. So if you don't have this plugin, um, you can just search uh, plugins. So I think if you just go to plugins and then is it no not manage plugins plugins oh it is manage plugins okay manage plugins and then find plugins and then just search for tool grip you want tool grip editor and it's this one right here by clone trooper You want to get this one right here and uh, then just select your tool. So we're going to select the sword and we're going to go to tool grip editor. So this is what the, uh, what a dummy would look like holding it. So we're just going to go ahead and yoink and we're going to spin that I guess. There we go. And let's get him holding it in the proper spot. What's good? That looks about good. So there we go now we have our sword now we can just get rid of that now basically we're not gonna have a um, an animation so what I'm gonna do is it's just gonna be like a touch thing because this isn't really a how to make a sword this is just how to make a NPCs drop money but it involves the sword or whatever weapon you're using really heavily or however you like manage to kill an, the NPC this is important so we'll just put the stored sword in a starter pack and let's just make it so it can't be dropped now let's add a local script mm -hmm. and we're gonna do this is just gonna be called you know, like attack or something and we're gonna do local hmm, tool equals script dot parent local handle equals tool wait for child handle but we're also going to need an event so in replicated storage we're gonna put a remote event if I can find it there it is <laughs> This is just going to be called uh, enemy hit. Actually, enemy hit event. Um, now I usually don't add remote events like this, but just for the sake of the t for the sake of the tutorial, I will just simply add it right here. Uh, usually, what I do is I just add it in a script, so I don't have to deal with a bunch of events in my replicated storage. Or you can just go to folder and put it your events there and just 
have a folder called events. Uh, either way works. But now, uh, let's just get to the scripting really quick. And this is just going to be um, enemy hit. Oops. So local rs equals game, get service, replicated storage, <clears throat> local events equals rs, wait for child events, local enemy hit equals events, wait for child enemy hit event. Now we're just gonna do enemy hit dot on server on server event colon connect function player hit um and I guess the damage. All right, so when a player hits the enemy. We're gonna do local character equals player dot character local enemy equals hit wait for child actually find first child of class humanoid enemy take Damage, damage. If enemy dot health, yeah, I did that right. Less than or equal to zero, then local creator equals instance dot new object value creator dot name equals creator. Sorry, I'll explain all this in a second. I'm just, I just want to get all this done over with. Uh, like all this like creator stuff just so I can explain it creator dot value equals character creator dot parent equals enemy uh, so there we go so this is going to be the server event so whenever a um, a player hits an uh, an enemy it will Get your character it will get the enemy's humanoid and then it will damage the enemy for however much damage uh you're supposed to do and this is the important part so if the health is less than or equal to zero so if the uh, enemy is dead then it's going to insert an object value inside the enemy's humanoid and the object value is going to be the creator which will be the character <laughs> So that's important um, for later when we script the actual getting the money so we can get the uh, character when uh, the enemy dies. So now what we're going to do is local rs equals game get service replicate storage and actually we can just Let's just go, uh, this one right here. Let's just copy this. There we go. <clears throat> Local can damage equals false. Local to balance equals false. Tool dot activated colon connect function. If not the balance, then the balance equals true. Uh, we're just gonna wait one second and then make the balance uh, false again. And we're just gonna make can damage equal true. And and damage equal false. 
So that's all we need for the activation. Now what we're going to do is um, handle dot touched on connect function hit. So now we're going to do uh, if not can damage then return end. Or should we do yeah, we're gonna do this. Um, let's just get rid of this for now. If hit that parent, find first child enemy. So it um, this could be you could change this to whatever you want. Again, this is just kind of me doing a tutorial. So if it finds an enemy, but I'm also gonna do uh, or hit dot parent find first child humanoid then so if it finds a, basically if it finds a humanoid uh, called humanoid or enemy well no if it finds an enemy or a humanoid you know something called enemy or something called humanoid then if not can't damage then return end else can damage equals false And then we're gonna do uh, enemy hit fire server, and we're just gonna do hit dot parent, I think, because in this we did enemy equals hit find first child the class humanoid. Okay, yep. So we're just gonna do hit dot parent, and then just how much we want it to damage, and I'll just make it do 25 damage for now. Just for tutorial sake. Let me just test this really quick. So it's not damaging him. I click once, it's damaging him. I click again, I'm spam clicking, and there we go, it works. So now we have a tool that can, you know, kill this enemy. But how do we get coins? So I have a lot of coins. So it's really not that hard. So um, in the enemy, what you would do is you would post or you would put a a script and you would just probably make this award probably just name it award or something uh, but you would also probably want a module script where's that and you probably just want this to ha uh, be named config just for you know easy sakes and in this config we're just gonna do the enemies uh, well for now we don't need to do its health or anything but basically you would put um the config of the enemy in like anything you wanted you would uh, you put like health equals if you wanted their max health to be like a thousand, you'd be like health equal a thousand. Then in a script, uh, you would just get the module script, like you would require, use a require, which just fetches the mo module. But for right now, we're just gonna do coin award equals and how much coin should we give? Maybe we should make it give a lot of coins, like 150,000. So, just for tutorial's sake, just so we know exactly that we're getting it. So yeah, we're gonna get 150,000. So now here we're gonna do local mob equals Dot parent local enemy equals mob wait for child enemy uh, I think that's all we need oh wait no we also need local config <laughs> equals require strip dot parent wait for child 
config. <clears throat> so now we would do enemy dot dive colon connect function. So when the enemy dies, basically we're going to do um, for IV in pairs enemy colon get children do if b dot name equals equals creator then local player equals v dot value actually that would be a uh, local oops local character equals v dot value um, so if not game dot workspace find first child so we're just gonna Basically, like if the player's left or something, then we're just gonna return end. <laughs> Else local player equals game. Oops. Dot players get player from character v dot value. Local stats equals player. Um. So if you didn't already know, we. Uh, in a previous episode, I made leader stat, just a simple leader stat of coins. So basically, it's just a folder inside your player and then a value inside that folder. So we're just going to reference that. So local stats equals player wait for child leader stats and local coins equals stats wait for child coins. Coins dot value equals coins dot value plus config coin award. I think it was coin award. Yes, it was coin award. So yep, that's pretty much it. Um, it took a little bit longer than I expected, but I kind of just wanted to go explain things and uh, also make this little sword just in case you didn't exactly know how to do that but this should work so if we go ahead and kill um, the enemy we should have roughly 250,000 coins like 249,640 <laughs> so let's just kill the enemy So it did not work. What if we do char dot name? Will that work? But then we're gonna have to wait ten seconds. <laughs> so ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four three two oh and yeah there we go so it was just because uh, I had to change it to character dot name so there we go and if I go back to award take this weight 10 out it should actually instantly give uh, the player who killed it 150,000 coins so let's see how much coinage we get We have almost 400,000. So there you guys go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. See you guys later. Peace out.